All for the Best, written, illustrated and read by Hans Wilhelm. In the rugged hills of the Land of Dawn, there lived a carpet weaver. His skills were well known, for his carpets were treasured all over the province. Their colors were deep and rich, like precious jewels, and the designs had the radiance of the morning sun. Day after day, as he quietly worked at his loom, his grandson tended the sheep. One moonless night, a bandit entered the field of the carpet weaver and stole one of his sheep. When the news of the crime reached his neighbors, they rushed to the home of the carpet weaver. Their voices were filled with rage. We must catch the thief. He must be punished. But the carpet weaver kept on weaving and quietly said, It will be for the best. Puzzled and perplexed, the neighbors withdrew. The next day the bandit was caught. The judge ordered him to return the stolen sheep and also give his horse to the carpet weaver as penance. And a fine horse it was. Pleased that justice had ruled, the neighbors came to the weaver's home to celebrate. You are a lucky man, they cheered. The winds of good fortune are with you. But the weaver kept on weaving and he quietly said, it will be for the best. Soon after, the horse broke out of the paddock and ran away. The neighbors again came to comfort the carpet weaver. They raised their voices, bemoaning this loss. Oh, dear friend, what a terrible misfortune, they lamented. But the carpet weaver kept on weaving and quietly said, It will be for the best. Startled and confused, the neighbors shook their heads and left. A few days later, the weaver's horse returned, followed by two wild horses. Now the carpet weaver had three horses instead of one. The neighbors came to rejoice in his good fortune. They congratulated him and told him how lucky he was. But the carpet weaver kept on weaving and he quietly said, it will be for the best. A few days later, the weaver's grandson attempted to break in one of the wild horses. It bucked and kicked and threw him off. He fell to the ground and broke his leg. Once again the neighbors came to commiserate. Oh, what a terrible luck, they cried and pitied him. But the carpet weaver kept on weaving and he quietly said, It will be for the best. This time the neighbors were enraged by his reply. Was he mocking their words of sympathy? Had he no feelings for his grandchild? Or had he simply gone crazy? Whatever it was, they decided they no longer wanted to have anything to do with him. The next day, the king came through the village looking for soldiers for his war. Loud were the cries of mothers, wives and children as every able-bodied man and boy in the village was taken. Every able-bodied man, but not the carpet weaver's grandson. Grandfather, said the boy as he helped cut the huge carpet from the loom, why do you always say it will be for the best even when bad things happen? The weaver spread the carpet out on the ground and then he said, I will tell you a secret. I always see and expect the best, even in my darkest hour. We seldom know the reason why good or bad things happen to us, he said. Life is like the wrong side of a carpet. We see many different colored threads running every which way. They seem to make no sense at all. But one day, he continued, as he turned the carpet over, in this life or thereafter, we will see the right side of the carpet and then we will realize that it has all made a perfect pattern. And so it is.